हॅलो एव्हरी वन वेलकम टू माय चॅनल आय एम रोहिणी हरिदास वर्किंग ॲज अ असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ॲट मौलाना मुख्तार अहमद नदवी टेक्निकल कॅम्पस मालेगाव टुडे इन धिस व्हिडिओ वी विल डिस्कस द एक्झॅक्ट मिनिंग प्रोटेक्शन सिस्टीम अँड इट इज एक्सप्लेन विथ एव्हरी डे एक्झाम्पल्स नाव द बेसिक क्वेश्चन इज दॅट why do we need the protection system we know that no power system can be designed in a such a way that it would never fail even in our day to day life we face the failures troubles etc at some point over the life span so one has to live with the failures in the language of protection these failures are called as faults so when a failure occurs on any part of the system it must be quickly detected and disconnected from the system if the fault is not cleared quickly then heavy currents can damage the equipment used in the power system network and may cause unnecessary interruption of service to the customers so for the detection of the fault and isolation of faulty part we need the protection system now the important question is that what is exactly protection system now to answer this question i am using this figure now my first question referring to this figure is that can you stop or prevent the rain the answer is obviously no because the rain is not in someone's hand but the second question is that can you protect yourself from the rain from getting wet the answer is yes how by using the protection system like umbrella raincoats etc so here umbrella is the protection system which cannot prevent the rain but can protect you from getting wet and sick due to cold so what exactly protection system is doing it is reducing or minimizing the adverse effects of rain on your body by protecting you from getting wet okay now now to have the better understanding of this concept let us consider another example again the same question can you prevent the fire from the happening in the first place the answer is obviously no for example if there is a fire due to short circuit then at first place you cannot prevent it from the happening but can you protect the person or the buildings from the fire and further spreading the answer is yes then how by using the protection system like fire extinguisher so what is the conclusion the fire extinguisher which is used as a protection system here cannot prevent the fire from the happening at the first place but can protect it from the further spreading and it can protect the person or the building from the fire okay so the same philosophy is also applicable to the protection system of electrical power system again the same question can you prevent the fault the answer is obviously no but please note that up to certain extent faults can be prevented by using properly designed and maintained equipment but 100% you cannot prevent the fault so in general the answer of this question is no now the second question is that can you protect the equipment from the damage due to fault the answer is yes how by using the protection system for example differential protection system for the transformer distance protection for the transmission line etc so what is the conclusion the protection system cannot prevent the fault but can protect the equipment from being damaged due to faults and the other abnormal conditions now what are the key points the use of term protection does not indicate or imply that the protection system can prevent the troubles such as faults and equipment failures thus 
protection does not mean prevention but always remember to a certain extent faults can be prevented by using the properly designed and maintained equipment however it is not possible to totally prevent the occurrence of fault but rather it means the minimizing the duration of trouble and limiting the damage outage time and related problems that may results otherwise thus protection system takes action only after the fault has occurred now when we say it is a system it is a combination of various components so what is the basic objective to provide the isolation of only faulty part quickly without disturbing the rest of the system so it consists of current transformer potential transformer relay circuit breaker trip circuit so we can see that the protection system is a teamwork of various components these are the some references if you like this video then please share and subscribe thank you